With almost 3,000 kilometers of coastline surrounding South Africa, uh, the importance of maintenance and repairs of uh, harbors such as this one here at Saldana Bay in the Western Cape cannot be over accentuated. Now, Minister of Public Works and Infrastructure, Patricia Little, easier at Saldana Bay Harbor today uh, to assess uh, the work done already as part of this harbor repair and maintenance project. We know that this is one of 13 proclaimed small harbors in the Western Cape uh, where this project has kicked off and among others, including dredging as well as removal of sunken vessels. Minister, very warm good afternoon to you. Um, we're just in the middle of a walkabout here at Saldana Bay Harbour. Minister, quite a number of buildings we can see um, have fallen into disrepair. Also, uh, some work being done on the slipway here. Uh, just in terms of this project, um, we understand that it's important for uh, economies of small towns such as Saldana, coastal towns, but also for the general economy tapping into uh, that uh, wider ocean's economy that I was talking about earlier. Yes, uh, certainly, Vanessa. This is part of the government's economic reconstruction and recovery plan that we are upgrading and doing maintenance of all small harbors across the country. The particular one in the Western Cape at a cost of 96 million rand, the Saldana Harbor Bay one. So far, we spend about six million rand. We hope to create a hundred jobs for the, the, the local people. But uh, the harbor, small harbor can be a catalyst for economic development within the area. Besides the job creation of, of repairing this harbor that was built in 1948. So we are really hoping that by upgrading the small harbors, the 13 that are proclaimed in the Western Cape, it will be able to stimulate economic growth and create the much needed jobs that we need in our country. Minister, uh, we're standing on the slipway. Um, we're trying not to get too close to the ocean behind yes. us. But I understand that this specific slipway is also being upgraded and yes. repaired to the point where um, t uh, vessels um, double the, the size yes. previously will yes. be able to um, uh, be fixed, repaired here. Explain to us the, the significance that has uh, for Saldana Bay, but also the fact that they won't have to go all the way to Cape Town for repairs. What does it mean for this area? Yes, the existing capacity is 600,000 uh, ton and we are, create, I mean, we are upgrading it to 1,200 tons so that bigger vessels can come in and they can come here for repairs and maintenance and so they don't have to go all the way to Cape Town for repairs and maintenance but it can be done right here in Saldana. So we hope to get this project done by March 2022 so that we can begin to get those bigger vessels also to come into Saldana Bay for maintenance and repairs and be that catalyst because what we want to see, we want to see this area being transformed. We want to see that the local communities have access to, to these facilities, that we create business and economic opportunities for the local people to come and have their restaurants or flea markets, whatever it is, but we want to draw people so that they use the harbour for economic activity, not just for big ships to come in here, but get the community to own this harbour and become part of the government's economic reconstruction and recovery plan. Minister, I also understand um, that uh, work at Hart Bay Harbour, for example, is also yes. nearing completion. Uh, we know that our coastline is littered uh, with uh, shipwrecks. Yes. We also know that uh, a lot, lot of dredging has taken place yes. there. And in Hart Bay specifically, job opportunities for former poachers, Minister, that yes. must have uh, touched uh, quite close to heart. Yes, we, we are very pleased with the developments in Hart Bay. In fact, we have recruited former poachers. We've trained them, they were issued with the necessary diving licenses, including one female also. And so now they are helping us to recover those sunken vessels. And of course, there are great economic opportunities because once they've recovered those sunken uh, vessels, again, you know, the economic, it's, 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 it's the, um, the remains of, of, of those boats that they also help us to, to finally get out into, into the market. So I'm very pleased with what's happening in Hot Bay because it's going to help us to stop the poaching there. And already the personal stories, if you speak to some of those divers with a real legal license, it's, it's, it's very moving. But it just shows you that, 
you know, working together with government, we can improve the lives of, of, of people in, in, in of the coastal communities. Just the last question, Minister. Besides the upgrades and the maintenance of the 13 proclaimed harbours, I do know that there's also the Small Harbour Development Unit. Um, looking specifically at new harbours in other provinces, such, such as the Eastern Cape KZN, um, can you just tell us where that, where that uh, unit's work is at current um, and yeah. when we can see further developments or, or building of new harbours in South Africa? Yes, most definitely. With the assistance of Infrastructure South Africa, Dr. Ramakopa here, um, we are now looking at doing a feasibility study of all the other harbours outside of the Western Cape that have not been proclaimed. And again is to stimulate, be the catalyst by us upgrading the, the harbours and bringing facilities closer. That be the economic catalyst to create jobs. Uh, and, and, and that project has started. We will soon be moving out to, to the other provinces. Uh, infrastructure South Africa is leading that together with the Department of Public Works and Infrastructure. Because as you know, we have gazetted the small harbors as a strategic infrastructure project last year. And therefore, it is getting special attention to where all our communities around the 3,000 kilometer coast of South Africa, that they have access to, to the small harbors. Minister, thank you very much for thank speaking you. to us. Uh, Minister Patricia de Lille, there, of course, Public Works and Infrastructure, speaking to us from Sultana Bay Harbour, uh, where an oversight visit is currently taking place on progress on maintenance and repairs done here.